in progress. All right. This is an important article that's been archived in the Daily Mail. House husbands backlash as high-flying wives ditch men they wanted to stay at home. Okay, um, this is worth reinforcing. It shows you guys that women select men for the gender roles. Men are never going to ditch gender roles uh, on, unless they do it themselves, because women select it. If, if you don't fulfill these gender roles, you don't get married. It's that simple. Of course, this person says, <laughs> what's her name anyway? She says, oh yeah, Diana Appleyard. It's the bitterest of irony. There's no irony about this all. This makes perfect sense. It, she just doesn't want to admit what women want out of men and that they don't love men. They select men for their servitude. At the time, it seemed like a good idea. After all, Richard Dean told himself he was earning less than his wife, Louise a high-flying marketing executive, and did it really matter who was at home to look after their children? Well, it does matter, because if you're doing it and she's working, you've got an easy gig and she's supporting you, and she doesn't want to do that. All these women who LARP as equalist are just doing that. They're LARPing. They're, they don't believe in equality. They never did. With that in mind, it was not such a difficult decision for him to give up his career as manager in the manufacturing industry to look after his 10-month-old son, Jack. He hoped it would bring them closer together as a family. In reality, it sounded the death knell for their marriage. Really, why? I thought she loved you for you. You know, when women lose their jobs, men don't just ditch them. So obviously, men get together with women because they want the woman. Women get together with man because they want her, him to work for her. That's it. She's not interested. She's not in love with the man. Do you understand that? Now, this is an article way back in 2007, by the way, everyone. So we've known that for at least a generation now. I sensed Louise was becoming more detached and less interested in me sexually within the year of becoming a house husband. Yeah, women are turned on by guys who are work slaves said Richard, 50. She was always picking on me for silly little things she said I hadn't done, like washing up or tidying away the toys. Let me tell you some guys something from experience. I've seen housewives that have cluttery house, and when the husband comes home, she nags at him and, and uh, gives him a hard time. There's a power differential in, in the relationship between men and women. Women have the power. Because even when they're leeching off a man, they'll try and dominate. But the men are the opposite. The, the, if the, when this guy took the gender role, he was very subsequious, wasn't he? <laughs> Guys realized they're powerless. It was just she was losing all respect for me. Pal, she never had any respect for you. If respected you, she wouldn't leave you as soon as uh, what she decided to do didn't turn out the way she wanted. Also, she took the kids with her. You'll see that, bit, that down further in this uh, article. So this guy, this woman never respected this guy. Just because uh, I was the one at home doing that domestic duties. Then one day, two years ago, she announced she was leaving me. Notice that there is no in-between. These women don't want to admit they're wrong. She could have had reconciliation by coming to him and saying, look, I want to reverse our roles. But because she can never admit she was, did anything wrong and she made a wrong decision, and she doesn't want to admit that she's not an equalist. She doesn't want to admit that she was never for equality. So she keeps silent and the resentment builds until finally she hates the guy for something she decided and then she ditches him, right? So there's never been any love and respect here ever. She told me she was going to go and live with her mother 20 miles away. And here's another thing, too. Notice the strong, independent women. This woman, how come she didn't just keep working and stay by herself and hire a caretaker for her kids? No, she ran away to mommy. Right. To say I was devastated does not do my feelings justice. It was as if the bottom had fallen out of my world. Notice there's no anger from this guy. These guys who decided to come house husbands, they must be a certain personality type. 
because I would be outraged. For five years, Richard, from what were hurts, had worked hard at becoming a perfect mother for their sons. No, you're a father. Just because you look after them in, a, in the typical mother role doesn't mean you're a mother now. <laughs> oh my God. So there's a Jack who is now nine and Edward seven. But from the moment he gave up his job, Richard says Louise, 47, failed to see him as a man. Of course, because manhood isn't worth anything. Manhood just means you're a good little servant boy to the opposite sex. So women might trade sex for a guy who's working for them. Otherwise, they hate their guts. The phenomenon of house husband is an increasingly popular one. This is back in 2007. I'm sure that's not true anymore. Because guys like these found out the hard way what it really means. The number of men deciding to become house husband has increased by staggering 83% since 93. It sounds huge, doesn't it? That's nothing. If you multiply zero by two, you still have zero. In this case, it's 83% more of a tiny figure. Look, there are more than 200,000 fathers in the UK choosing to give up their careers and raise their children at home. 200,000 is a huge number, but how many, how many millions of people live in the UK? Tens of millions. So this represents less than 1%. So it's tiny. But there are couples who go down this domestic route, sowing the seeds of marital disharmony. She's asking a rhetorical question. The only harmony that was going on, she's admitting in order for it to be harmony, the man has to be the workhorse and the woman gets to have an easy gig. So of course it's no harmony because the woman doesn't love the man. <laughs> now, in short, having a man whose primary function is not as alpha male breadwinner, but domestic drudge just ain't sexy. Notice how they dishonestly words this. He's, if he's the breadwinner, he's not an alpha male. He's not in charge of anything. He's the slave boy. And it's not a domestic drudge, because if it was, she'd be happy having him there. It's a domestic leech. And that's what this woman doesn't find sexy. Divorce lawyer Vanessa Lloyd Platt says that in her experience, this is experience from a divorce lawyer, the decision to allow the wife to be the main wage earner will have a detrimental effect on as many as half of these relationships, and that the divorce stats of these cases have risen by at least 5% in the past two years. Really, Vanessa Lloyd Platt? But I thought women chose men because they loved them and they would love them for richer or poorer, for sickness and health. No, of course not. <laughs> so again, this uh, divorce lawyer is showing what it's about, what relationships between the genders are about. My warning, well, okay, let's pull this, let's see. Oh, wait, I have a house husband, but the wife will quickly begin. Yeah, I better read this. You know, my warning would be to think long and hard about letting the man stay at home. Yeah, letting the man stay at home. So it's her decision. I know it is very trendy at the time, at least, for the wife to be the breadwinner. But in my professional experience, this decision will strain the marriage. It may be fun at first to say I have a house husband, but the wife will quickly begin to resent the fact the man is not pulling his weight financially. More than that, she will resent the fact that he isn't doing more than her financially. That's what it is, because again, this woman's trying to paint it as if the women are equalist. They're not. She would think, you're not supporting me. There you go. Proving me just right again. Within all of us, I think there is still a very deep-seated belief that men should be the protectors. She means providers. And by the way, She's trying to make it out that this is a belief nailed into people's heads. It isn't. This isn't uh, training. Women naturally serve, pick men for servitude. And it's showing this way. This woman isn't doing this because she's been trained this way. This is what she chose this man for, okay? Look at this. The balance qu quickly shifted. There was no balance shift. It was always imbalanced. The guy was always a serf to this woman's nobility. 
But Richard says balance and uh, relationship quickly shifted. I was happy to do all the cleaning and cooking, shopping and washing. But I began to feel that Louise was taking me for granted. Yeah, because you know what, bud? Those jobs don't mean anything, obviously. Because if they did, the woman would keep it this way. She would be happy about it. She'd come home exhausted after a 10-hour day, and I'd be desperate to chat. See, he has energy, and she doesn't. Because this is what the traditional male role is. It's a workhorse where you come home exhausted, and the other person has had time and all kinds of energy. That's why women live longer than men, right? Now, <laughs> He's talking about pouring his heart and his soul, but he said, not once did I regret the decision to put my career on hold. While well, you regret it now, don't you, pal? <laughs> yes, it's hard not making your own money, but I was doing the essential job of bringing up our children. Yeah, so the job isn't essential then, is it? At least not in your wife's mind or any woman who is getting the, where you're getting the easy gig, where you're getting the easy deal. But then the hammer blow fell and Louise walked out taking the boys with her. How'd she walk out with taking the boys with her? How? I thought you were the primary caregiver, which everybody shows you that that, that has always been an excuse by the courts to give the children to the woman. And well, it's not even just given to it. They're having letting her use the children as leverage to make the man pay, to make him suffer and pay her. The court system is not about the children any more than the parents are about the children. The court system is about making the woman happy. And of course, so these guys will voice surprise that, hey, he was a, he was a primary hair, caregiver. How come he didn't get the children? Because it was never about that. Like I said, again, the courts are about pleasing the woman, period. And punishing the man. I should add that. Okay. So this is what these guys have been told, lied to, gaslit their whole lives. And now it's come to bite them on their ass because the women will never, they'll always show their true colors in the end. Well, this also shows the lack of respect this guy had for himself. I begged her not to go. Why would he be begging her? I'd be pissed. I'd be saying, who are you to drop me for something you demanded? and then take my children from me. I would be outraged. But I think she had simply decided she could find someone more dynamic than me. This is bullshit. Dynamic just means she wants a man who pays and does the work. You're the same guy personality-wise as when they married, which tells me when women say, you're not the man you were before, what they mean is you're not the servant you were anymore. <laughs> so this is what men should have learned. Now, like I said, this is 2007. How long ago is that? 15 years. So there's been an entire generation of guys still want this shit deal. Okay, now. Oh, yes, wait. And the great irony was that we decided together that I should stay at home children. Yes, like I'm going to point this out again. This woman was not, she, she could have made things better and eased off, but the fact was she didn't want to admit that she made a mistake. She doesn't want to admit that the narrative that they've been pushing for generations now is false. And it's been a gaslighting lie for men. So rather than deal with that, she would rather let her resentment build until she hates this guy for something she's done. I'm repeating that, it deserves repeating. This is important to know still though, there's been a massive turnaround in roles within marriage, but there's still a very, I wouldn't consider it massive. It's tiny. Do you guys know any house husbands? I don't. But there's still a very strong belief in the legal system that allowing a father to have residency in the, uh, of the children is somehow against the natural order of things. Like I said, this 15 years ago, has anything changed? No. So this has nothing to do with uh, wrong-headed ideas. This is the way people want it. Now, one last thing. This guy, James, to my surprise, I slipped into the role with real ease. Yeah, because it's an easy role. That's why you slipped into it easy. 
anyone can do it. I shopped, cleaned, washed, and cared for Alice and then Chloe and Amy once they came along. This is a guy, James, with three children. Alice was with the child care, you know, it was 11 years. They lasted quite a way. But this is what I'm pointing out. James says that a household husband 12 years ago, he's very much in the minority. And many mothers were very distrustful of him. See, this is what guys don't realize. They weren't distrustful of him. They didn't like him. Women do not like men. Do you understand? There weren't many couples doing this when we first made the decision. I think some other mothers thought I was trying to seduce them when I chat them up for coffee mornings in the playgroups, he says. Uh, he's wrong. They don't think he was trying to seduce them. I guess if they liked him, they'd want him seduced to seduce them. No, they just didn't like him. He's not a part of their crowd. You know, they're like white nationalists and he's like a Jewish man. These women see them as another and they have contempt for men and they didn't want him anywhere near their social group. In the park, they'd all be sitting chatting to each other while I rushed around physically playing with the kids and they ignored me. Yeah, they don't like you, pal. And they were all sitting around chatting. So the kids are basically taking care of themselves. And this shows you how, much, how easy of a gig it is. If it's so tough, how come these women can just sit and socialize? They're really just getting together and the children are used as an excuse. So this is, I'm gonna put the, article in the description box and you guys keep a, uh, you can read the rest at your leisure but i'm hitting uh, the important parts and showing there's a couple things one is that women don't choose men for equal relationships the man is there to serve two the women do not respect or love the men because these women ditch their men that they love deeply and they use their kids against them. So that's the second part. And three, they will never admit that they were doing any wrong. This is her screw up. She made uh, uh, a decision with this man. She thought it'd be great. And she did it for bragging rights to say, look, I'm the person who wears the pants. She didn't do it because she wanted to destroy gender roles. That's a lie women tell men. It's a lie they tell themselves, obviously. And four, they will blame the man for their decisions. So this is what you have to take from this article. And uh, we're lucky we found this, this archived. This is one of the most important articles you guys can read. Thank you.